always talks about him. Okay, so uh, I'm Nick Meister, hey. and with me is Circle Master. Hello. Apparently, Nick Meister has unlocked the secret message: "Die, Hitman, die." What? <laughs> the back and forth thing. Oh right. <laughs> <laughs> Say, "Die, Hitman, die." <laughs> die, Hitman, die. All right, so. Here's uh, the opening scene for the movie, I think. Kind of looks like it. <laughs> yeah, I never bothered to watch the Hitman movie, thank God. Yeah, it, it was a piece of shit. And uh, it, here's Birdie. It probably has a better story than this game, though. Oh, I, I don't know about that. Uh, you know, there's all those... I didn't realize Birdie had so many different outfits. They're all covered in I shit. I didn't realize he had anything that wasn't covered in shit. <laughs> apparently he had one jacket. It's so empty here without... One preacher's outfit, apparently. Wait, there is bird shit on it. There is? Oh, that that's a Jesus fish. Never mind. <laughs> and you gotta notice that they, they established right off the bat that the kids aren't there. So you don't have to worry about them. Oh, and here's uh, Sister Mary. I'm glad you're here. Victoria's sick. One minute she's fine, and the, the next she's hardly breathing, and the doctors can't find anything wrong with her. A Where's necklace. her fucking necklace? Necklace will. Yeah. Well, it's on the dresser. She broke the uh, latch, but I fixed probably put it. in the donation plate. <laughs> and didn't forty-seven establish that the necklace is really fucking important and that she should keep is on to it? Asking about? No. Oh, apparently she's battery operated, and the necklace is the <laughs> USB charger. I've got a oh, you, you don't even, you don't even, you can't even imagine how fucking there. stupid it is. Uh, the basement, the basement. I don't know. I saw the pilot for Revolution, and that was pretty fucking stupid <laughs> with the magic USB drive. Right. I, I didn't see that shit. I, the only reason I remember it is because of that guy from Breaking Bad. All right. This is an uncomfortable image. Him back. Yeah. A young child in the arms of a priest. Post, post whatever the hell we we're going to call that period when all the priests got exposed. <laughs> All right, so 47 does a funny whispering thing here. At least I think it's funny. He's got a horse there. Maybe uh, that's why he whispers. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and, uh, I don't know, you probably can't see it in the video you're watching, but you can see the, the bad guys sure? coming in and shooting don't up worry. everything. I promised Diana to keep you safe. I know what you've been through. No one. Because, you know, 47's a really caring kind of guy. Yeah, and I can tell that he's super concerned about the bad guys, that he didn't <laughs> speed up his pace at all. <laughs> Maybe she's really, really heavy. It could be. I mean, she's supposed to be... Oh, well, actually, that's going to be a spoiler. I'll keep that to myself. Well, obviously she's a robot. We already established that. Oh, of course. There's, there's so that many... That would explain why she's so heavy. Right. Because she's made of metal and... And how she doesn't have any Steel. personality at all, right? Well, it was either no personality or a spam bot, so they kind of <laughs> had to go with the lesser of two evils. It's not that they're nuns. I mean, it's just... I mean, God, whatever happened to duct tape? That's Wade for you. The guy likes his carnage. Sick, sick shit. All these guys have, like, professor jackets on, you know, with the patches on the elbows. I thought that was kind of funny. They tweed jackets. They're vintage. They're coming back in style with the hipsters. Oh, yeah. Well, they're all from South Dakota, so I guess they're kind of behind the times. Be seeing more of that later. There we go. And it gets really choppy here. It doesn't matter what, what I fucking do. My computer is, is pretty fucking beastly. Yeah. Maybe it's just fraps. No, it's not fraps. It happens even when I'm not recording. Oh. Yeah. Then I have no idea. Well, didn't see that coming. I need to get the power back on. System. I don't know. They apparently. I will meet you both there. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave you here. All right. You'll be totally safe in this unpowered elevator that all the enemies have just passed through. <laughs> Now, but yeah, I, I'm kind of surprised that they wait until they've already infiltrated the building to cut the power. That's kind of the first step, usually, not the last. Yeah, I mean, you might want to check the fucking elevator first, started. right? Let's hey, look, because they killed all the nuns. What are they cutting the power for? Uh, 
you know, that's a good fucking question. I don't know. I didn't really think of that. Apparently the lights in that next room to the right there work, so... Well, maybe it's a backup generator or something? I don't know. So anyway, all the Wade's guys kind of have the same personality. They're all pieces of shit who like to get high. It's not really a big surprise, I guess. All right, gonna kill you. And I take out all the people up on the first floor, like, stealthy-like, because I'm trying to get the guard to, to say his little spiel about the shotgun, but he doesn't say it. Kind of had me pissed off. Oh. I'm sure that fire axe is the perfect stealth weapon. <laughs> well, it is if you use it the way I'm going to use it. Okay. Throw that in the corner. And it's going to make this guard over here think that the wall is trying to get his attention or something. Okay, well, since you're being so polite about it, I'll just go ahead and do that. All right, who's the comedian? <laughs> Wait, wasn't that the guy selling sushi at the Chinese uh, Chinatown? Uh, you know, he might have been. He maybe that's his day job it's or just, something. It's the same voice as one of the vendors. I'm sure they got like three guys doing all the voices or something. There you go. I'm gonna knock this guy out. Fuck you. Nice. For some reason, I'm terrible at those quick time events. Hey, did you notice that they had a big fucking kitchen knife in in the in the play area? What the fuck is up with that? And a syringe. Well, you gotta. <laughs> well, this isn't the kitchen area. This is a medical area. Yeah, but still, it's just out I mean, there. Shelves of pills and stuff. Oh, I, I don't know. I just I just think this place maybe wasn't so nice even before these guys got here. Well, nuns are experts at, you know, child brainwashing, not child raising. And keeping their mouths they're shut. They're kind of, you know, opting out of the whole child rearing option. That's a good option. point. <laughs> and this syringe must weigh like 100 pounds because it just knocks them right over. I don't know. Maybe the needle's made out of uh, lead or something. And look at this stuck-up prick. He won't even say thank you. Hey, you want to say something? Maybe, you know, thanks for saving my ass? No? Alright. He shook his head no. He <laughs> answered you. I thought about killing him, but then I didn't. And there's confetti in those balloons. That's pretty cool. Now, check this out. Watch, were, watch, were the, they green, watch the green balloon, okay? Okay. What the fuck? It, the bullets didn't pass through the balloons. Well, that confetti is actually chaff. Oh. Those are the anti-rocket uh, defenses that the nuns have in case the, you know, the Baptists attack. Right, of course. Because you, you never know when, when that whole thing is going to start up again. Oh. I do like that big revolver, but the, the two guns are really more useful, you know. I think you just like having two guns. <laughs> I do. Pew, pew. After your little pew, pew yeah. Pew, pew. <laughs> and 47. Maybe that's why they don't break balloons, because you're just going pew pew instead <laughs> of a real gun sound. I don't know. I think even a fucking BB gun would break two balloons, but I don't know. Who knows? I'm not really a gun guy. I live in Massachusetts. Our gun laws are pretty much as strict as yours are, I think. Uh, Probably more so. Oh, yeah. I mean, at least hunting is a viable thing to do in California. There's a lot of woodlands and everything around here. Right. Not so much Massachusetts. Right. Although I have a cousin-in-law who likes to hunt for turkey, although I think he lives in New Hampshire. I think New Hampshire's gun laws are pretty loose. So I didn't yeah. get that guy's really cool gas mask. What's up with that? I don't think it was a... Was it a gas mask? Well, he was wearing some kind of mask that I didn't get. I'm kind of pissed off about that. And I killed that guy with a fucking book. Oh, you should have seen him. Yeah, I was waiting for some kind of one-liner about Bible thumping, but <laughs> you just went on about New Hampshire. Well, uh, I don't think it's a Bible. I think it's something else. Not really. Well, fuck it. Whatever. That was a good, That would have been a good line. What the hell? That book was made out of paper mache. <laughs> It just shattered. It fucking exploded, yeah. Whoever you are, you're lucky I didn't find 
So uh, that's the second fuse. I'm not really sure why they spread the fuses around like that. It's kind of like a Mario game or something. All right. <clears throat> and there's a shotgun that Jackass would have told us about if he wasn't being so tight-lipped. There's another book. You're not, you're not going to put on the cop disguise so that everyone can be instantly suspicious of you? <laughs> I thought about it. Just, just you know, reven revenge of the security guards there. But that guy's wearing blue, so you know he's different. So step up, or there's going to be hell to pay. You guys understand? Yeah, baby. Okay. Now find that You know, some stealth action here. Well, for various definitions of action. <laughs> A little more action than stealth. Nobody seems to care that uh, one of their guys is rolling around, but considering how most of them seem to be high, it's not really a... Shit. It's not really a big surprise. Yeah, maybe they just think that... You're on heroin withdrawal, and you got the ants. You don't find that girl, we're fucked. <clears throat> Sorry, what did you say? I said we're fucked. Oh. <laughs> yeah, really. How's that? What, what, Seriously, what, what, half of Wade's yeah? crew is high. You got my back? No, because you're fucking high all the time. I got yours. Yeah, yeah sure, sure. No worries, man. Well, you know, that's the 420 culture of the internet. Right. It, it bleeds everywhere into real life. Even the criminals have to deal with it. I'm going to kill this guy with a robot. There we go. I thought you left the robot in the elevator. Whoa! <laughs> that was a magic robot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Probably like the one you left in the elevator. <laughs> well, that one's a MacGuffin. That robot was just, uh, something else. A check cosmic gun? So anyway, the way to get that last fuse without having them, you know, get alerted is just to wait for, uh, the boss to show up and break up their little medicine party. I don't remember getting there in time for that, but uh -huh. I was frantically changing cover, dive rolling back and forth, <laughs> and somehow I got it without being, you know, labeled suspicious or spotted. Uh -huh. I have lots of people making comments about me, <laughs> but nobody actually went off. Right, they'll stare at you through a wall and go, hey, how come you're crouching for it? Don't do that. Hey, hunchback, what's your problem? Right. And it was that guy there that ruined it on my attempt doing this. Oh. So I ended up holding up in this room and just blowing everyone away. Huh? Yes, yeah, yeah. blowing everyone away with that shotgun. Right. The shotgun's pretty badass in this game. Um, the submachine gun I have is pretty much fucking useless. Wait, the hiding spots get people who are suspicious off of you? Oh yeah. If you if oh, you man, do it. There's... They're like black holes. Oh, yeah. You you pick up a pamphlet and you disappear. Yep. Because one of these gangsters would totally be interested in a, a pamphlet. That's probably about why adoption is a better choice than abortion. Right. Or how becoming a eunuch is better than having premarital sex. I don't think they make pamphlets for that. Oh, there was one right there. If You'll, you'll see in the high-definition video. Oh, great. And here I we are so to save the day. I look forward to that. Oh, she sounds high, too. Come on, what's the matter with you? I'm not when you fight back. Come on, fight back, girl. Fight back. Hey, wait. I want to be in charge, too. Oh, he wants to be in charge, too. Oh, he's got a snake back. Sure. Thing. Thing it's like it's like snake skin or something. Shut up, Wade! Oh. <laughs> oh. You think he's hey, probably just a logo on the shirt? I don't think he has actual tough snake skin. It. Come on, man, you tough guy. Come on, come on, you tough guy. Come on, man. No. Come on. Okay, I show you. Uh, shut up, bitch! Oh. Or I'll Put a cap in your ass. She didn't say anything. <laughs> Limp Dick Lenny. You know what, way? Oh, oh my God! Oh, I got blood on my hand, Y'all see that? 
This is like pop like a watermelon. <laughs> he doesn't even say the word slut. Lenny! <laughs> I tell you what, Lenny. We better let the grown-ups clean up this. Mm-mm. Boys, keep watch, huh? Nice job, Lenny. Nice job. He looks like a character out of Greece. He looks like he's ready to go up against Gallagher for the <laughs> pop like a watermelon comedy stage. <laughs> a psychotic Gallagher. And 47's really pissed. I was thinking about wasting these guys, but then I just decided to walk past them <laughs> with the instinct. That's boring. <laughs> you should at least dive roll past them using instincts. <laughs> Oh, I gotta rub my head. My head is very sore from slicing it open with a razor blade. Is it? You changed that bandage several times now. It did he? It, it might be infected yeah. by now. Oh, you're right. No, he, because he it used to have the gauze that was bloody. And right. It's kind of hard to tell how much time has passed since the game started. Well, it can't be more than a day, because he, he, he drives the bus, and he shows up in the morning, so... But, like, the first time we were in Chinatown, it was a regular Chinatown day. Right. Oh. And then the next time, it was Chinese New Year. Right, right. Isn't Chinese New Year in the winter? Like, it's sometime in February. Yeah, but it... Huh. I don't know. I don't want to think about it too much. It's going to break my brain. And you'll have to put a bandage on it like he did. Oh, right. He's creeping along all sneaky-like. I wonder if that hurts his back. Uh... Probably. He's got a super assassin back. Maybe huh. he's got a robo-spine. Oh, yeah. Robots, robots are all the rage these days, it seems. They are. And, you have uh, magic flying robot toys. <laughs> Wade's a lot fucking smarter than his henchmen because he immediately knows that this guy is 47. Can you imagine if that was just one of the other henchmen you passed who came into the room? Right. Like, hey, boss, <laughs> bam! Ah, boss, you shot me! So we don't want to go head, head on because uh, then we'll have to do more shooting. So what you do is you turn off this valve here. Oh, well, that's obvious. Right. How could I have missed that valve the first time I played this? <laughs> oh, and the grate, too. I mean, grates are fucking highlighted. They're easy to spot without instincts. <laughs> well, if you know what you're looking for, I just like to play... I like to think I'm playing, like, a really shitty Deus Ex with dress-up options. There they go. I don't know, Deus Ex was better than this. Oh yeah, definitely, I love Deus Ex. It, it probably still is, despite the horribly dated graphics and engine. Oh yeah, number one is the fucking Mona Lisa compared to this. So anyway, if you get too close, he'll do that whole quick draw thing, but if you turn on this valve here, you can kill him sneaky-like. How did 47 know that would work? Who knows? Uh, because it was highlighted. And I just decided to shoot him for no reason. And his face is fine. <laughs> and he's also upright. Right. Yo, Wayne! Who's a lamp dick now, you cocksucker? Make fun of me, I'll teach you a thing or two. I hope you die real hard and real long, you fucking motherfucker. And you, Baldy, don't you fucking move or I'll put a, a fucking bullet in her head. That's what I'm saying. Wait, this is what happens when you fuck with Lenny. What are you gonna do? Plug it in her ear? You're holding a grenade. <laughs> that was completely necessary. Okay. What else you got? Hope, South Dakota. You're long. Oh, he way smokes. <laughs> Where'd his teeth go? His teeth fucking disappeared. I got wood, man. Um. Probably Why couldn't afford to model him. <laughs> <laughs> and for some reason, uh, w it's... Wade feels like he needs to share that with the world. Yeah, who knew that this crazy guy <laughs> who got off on killing people would actually get <laughs> off on dying? <laughs> See the ultimate turn. The ultimate turn on there. 
So yeah, the expense of the teeth went into modeling <laughs> his wood. Right. But it was very hard to spot. It's an Easter egg. You right. have to watch it in 720p and freeze on just the right frame. I'll, I'll be showing that totally off. It's totally worth it. I'll be showing that off in the Easter eggs video at the end of the LT. Yeah, it's totally worth it. It's it's way better than Hitman 47 having a complete head. <laughs> and all the children have to go to a government orphanage somewhere where they'll be abused. Um, Happy government ending. orphanages don't really exist anymore. They would go into foster care. Oh, oh, really? You know, they they'd go into families uh -huh. <laughs> that would actually take care of them and hopefully not brainwash them. Oh, uh, well, it's, maybe it's a happy ending then. Who knows? Oh, so much shit not to care about. I don't know. Apparently Wade got a happy ending. Oh, yeah, he got a real happy ending. Probably jizzed himself. Um, I think I'll cut that out. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you